Now Chris turns the tables and Brenda's past catches up with her in Shortland Street. You have to speak to me. You have to say that you didn't mean to hurt anybody. Oh, but I did. I wanted to hurt Hunter Mackay. Correction. I wanted to kill him. Scarlet? In a room. You haven't seen the papers this morning, have you? There's nothing. Yet. How bad were the Mackay kids? Hunter needed a few stitches. Sophie was just in shock. Did they talk about what happened? Just that she drove up in your four-wheel drive and tried to mow them down. I still can't get my head around it, you know? What she did was just so cold-blooded. What's she saying? Just that she's completely unrepentant. I mean, has she got my angry genes only worse? Scarlet's a sweet kid, you know that. Yeah. Except she bottles it all up and then one day just lets rip. Just like her old man. You've got like a million messages. Just the girls. Your little pals will be loving all this. Probably. What do you want in your toast? I'm not hungry. You didn't eat anything last night. Do a Kate Moss if you become a model. Until then, eat. You get any sleep? Not much. Every time I close my eyes, I saw it happening over and over, that car coming at us. It's just shock. It's our fault. We made Scarlet go nuts. The hell we did. Like we made her decide, hey, wouldn't it be great if I killed the Mackays today? We shouldn't have been so horrible. It's not our fault. What are you guys arguing about? Nothing, she's just upset. Fair enough. You might, um, want to try the maternal thing. I will. How are you? It doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, right? You gonna be all right with the police interview later? Fine. I want that psycho put away. I'll try the maternal thing. So, Tony will not only act as nurse, but research new clinics and outreach programs. Mmm, that'll work. Already started. <laughs> Work I shall shamelessly take credit for as we surge onward and upward. Well, welcome aboard. My pleasure. Now, get to work. They're stacked and circling out there. Mm, terrific. Now I've got two bosses. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about yesterday. How are the kids? Uh, they're pretty shook up. Justine's staying home with them. Mm, what a mess. Mm. I guess this is where a tight family really helps. It sure does. Uh, I couldn't help noticing a little friction between you and Chris. I hope you and me working together doesn't cause any trouble. We'll be fine. If we do well, how can Chris argue? Exactly. <laughs> While Scarlet was going through hell, I was in the UK at some stupid conference. Teenagers go off the rails. It's part of the job description. Yeah, go off the rails, yes. But drive their car through a crowded schoolyard? No. Call her mum. God knows what I'm going to tell her. Hi, Paula. Our daughter might be going to jail. It's where I should be, though, right? Well, don't be ridiculous. It's true. Stop talking like that, okay? Especially with the police. How come they haven't arrested me already? They called. They've decided to speak to everyone else first. We probably won't see them until tomorrow. I've got to get back to work. But call me, okay? Any time. I mean that. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. I'll cook us some breakfast, yeah? Don't bother, I couldn't eat it. 
look, Sprocket, I know that I haven't always been the greatest dad. And there have been some times when I... Don't. I'll cook some breakfast. And finally, Mr Heinrich. Are you okay with all that lot? Good to go. Boy, I wish I had ten of you. Most people can barely handle one of me. You settling in okay up here? Good, yeah. The IV, your local? Um, sometimes. Why? Guess I wondered how much trouble I'd cause if I dated your ex. Points for honesty. I try. I know it's not exactly a work topic, but would it mess with you if I asked Jay out? I don't see why it should. Great. How's the new girl? She seems rock solid. Oh, you think? You don't. Oh, I worked with her a couple of years back. She didn't always impress. Better keep an eye on her then. That makes two of us. So you're generally run down work, late night parties? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, drugs, party pills? Some. Right. Do you think you might be pregnant? I'm on the pill. Okay. Do you smoke tobacco? About a pack a day. Okay. What sort of pill are you on? Okay. Good. Thank you. Good. What do you think? Well, you need to look after yourself and you've got to give up the fags. Do I need tests? Well, I'll do bloods and so forth, and in light of the fact that you smoke and you're on the pill, I recommend a breast check. Uh, have you noticed any changes, any lumps? I haven't checked. Okay, look, I can have a look now. Do you need a nurse to come in? I'm okay. Okay, look, pop your top off and we'll have a look-see. Lyle Jennings, I represent the high school. How can we help? I'm here to let you know how the school wants to handle things. Death penalty? Scarlet. The reason you're not on the front pages this morning is because neither the high school nor the police want you there. The school doesn't want adverse publicity and the police don't want to see copycat behaviour. Fair call. Of course, some of the parents are upset, angry. But the school is hopeful that they'll be somewhat placated and less inclined to speak to the media if your daughter makes full apologies. OK. Sure. In particular, to the Mackay family. They're not positively disposed towards Scarlett, but if they accept a sincere apology, it might help your case. You want me to apologise to the people I tried to kill? What the hell is funny about that? Hey, guys. Sorry I tried to kill you yesterday. Actually, that should be sorry I didn't kill you yesterday. Oh well, stuff happens, you know. You obviously haven't grasped how serious the consequences could be for you. If you continue with that attitude, it's very likely you'll be facing a charge of attempted murder and a minimum prison term of seven years. <laughs>